This week I'm installing some LED lighting on the 40 series. I'm actually looking at replacing some of my spotlights with these LED light bars. Now the LED light bars are all the rage at the moment, everybody's talking about them. But I want to dispel some of the myths. Some of the advertising you might see in the magazines are telling you that these LED light bars are the end all and be all for fantastic four wheel drive lighting. Well let me tell you from a person who uses all manner of lighting out on the tracks, that is not the case. When you're looking at four wheel drive lighting, you're looking at distance, traveling, touring, those long distance shots down the track, you cannot beat a set of spotlights. Now the LED lighting is an amazing light that throws a massive amount of light, but it throws that in a very wide pattern and a very low and high pattern. The benefit of that is for when you're doing short, twisty, windy, slow four wheel driving, no matter where the front of the vehicle is pointing, you have light in front of the vehicle so you can see exactly where you're going and what you're doing. But when you get out onto the tracks and you start looking at some long distance straight touring and you need lights down the road around 700, 800 metres, even a kilometre, you cannot beat proper spotlights, driving lamps in HID or halogen. So let's just get it straight. LED light bars are fantastic quality, a phenomenal volume of light, but realistically for penetration and distance, 100 metres is all you will get out of even the best LED light bars. But with a good set of spotlights, you can clearly expect to have a good kilometre of vision straight down the road. And that's why for my vehicle, I'm setting up a combination of LED lighting to give me volume at close range and HID spotlights or driving lamps for long distance touring. So a combination is definitely the way to go and never ever expect that a light bar is going to give you everything you need in a total lighting solution for your four wheel driving. Now looking in particular at the light bars that I'm installing, I've made sure that my light bars are water and dust proof. Most of the ones on the market are definitely not. And you also need to take a serious look at the wattage, the power output of the globes. These ones I'm running here are true 10 watt LEDs, the most powerful ones available on the market at the moment. But LED lighting is changing rapidly, so watch out for what comes next. I also have two different lens types here. We can see the clear lens, this will give me a nice spread beam, but this one here is more your Euro type spread, a much wider spread. And that's why I'll be setting this bar up down low on the bull bar, and this one up nice and high. So let's get these LED light bars up on the vehicle and see how they look. 